What's up guys? Welcome back here to another Infinite Galaxy content. In the previous video, you guys have seen the part 1 of the Defend Galaxy. In part 1 of the Defend Galaxy, we had to capture and defend a structure. So in part 1, what you have to do is defeat the Imperial Guard, reinforce them, and get the Charon Defense. If you want to see the video for part one, go check it out in the top right corner. There's going to be a link popping up there. Just click that one and you'll see the part one. This is the part two. Let me talk about this a little bit here with you guys. If you guys are interested to see more Infinite Galaxy content that will help you to succeed in Infinite Galaxy, if you're serious about playing this game, I highly, highly suggest that you should consider subscribing to the channel so that you will not miss out a great content that is going to come out. Right. So if you're looking for uh, Infinite Galaxy information, this channel will give it to you. So I hope you would consider subscribing and smash that thumbs up. Give us a like here in this video. I appreciate it. And of course, leave us a comment. Leave us some of your opinions and thoughts about the game so far. So the Imperial City, this is going to be the second day of the uh, Defending Galaxy. You will need to defend and capture each array for the duration of the time. And you will also need to um, hold the guard city as well. And you will gain 300 points per guard city. And per array in the Imperial City, you will gain 100 points per minute. And if you hold the Imperial City itself, you will be gaining about 700 points per minute. Now, um, this event is more onto the PvP side. You have to fight with anybody who is wanting to get the Imperial City. For this server, we came into a good um, consensus that one alliance will lead the server, which is GMF. So they have taken the first Imperial City. Um, there's a bunch of different rules that you can do. You can end up having like rotation between, um, you know, princeps between alliances who's going to lead. So that's one thing you can do. You can create a uh, basically like a council. But in this video, we're going to talk about really imperial city how does this thing works so the alliance that captures the imperial city first the alliance leader of that alliance will become the princept during that time malone is the leader of gmf so he was the princept during that capture now one thing that you need to understand in here i've asked malone he had passed the leadership he has given up r5 and he is still the princept he had left the alliance he is still the princep. So once the princep has been assigned to the nebula, the princep stays as a princep until the duration of re-challenging the Imperial City. That's the time that there could be a princep change. Now within the Imperial City, there is the Federation officers. And how can you request to be a Federation officer? In the beginning, you will see plus signs in here. Once you see that plus sign, you all you need to do is click that plus sign. You just click apply. I've already applied for this position. You can click application in here. As you can see, I am in the status of uh, trying to get into that position next. Uh, actually, I'm going to message Malone if he can give me that position. Now, once you have applied into the position, you will have four hours. As you can see here, Hurling Foot just became a um, tech minister. He has four hours and then he can get replaced. Now, if nobody is trying to get the position, then you can stay in that position for a very long time. Research speed plus 10%, spaceport construction plus 10%. You can read the buff. Everything here has a value. So right now I'm the finance minister. So if I'm gathering uh, resources, it will help me out in here. Now, how is it to get into the rebel forces? If I click this plus sign, I have no, I, you know, no way to apply for this because who is going to apply for negative buff, right? So as the princep, and I believe if you are also the cabinet spokesman, you can assign any player to be an outcast by anything that is negative buff. You can assign them to be the rebel forces. Now, how can you do this is that there is going to be like a search bar and you can type player's name. Same thing with federation pack. If you're going to send Federation pack to a player, you will have to search for their name and you have to give them uh, the pack through that way. You can also see some information in here, which is really, really nice. Actually, I like that they're giving five of the gold heart 
defender pack, which is amazing. It's a lot compared to other games, in my opinion. Um, the Princep notice is for the Princep to send a mail for the entire nebula. Previous Princeps, you can see who is the uh, previous, of course, previous Princep, right? Relatively easy. So if you're going to be applying for um, officers in here for the nebula, you just need to understand that you need to click and you can click apply. And you can see all the application as well. Let's see if there is some, um, nah, there's not a lot of applications in here for, as you can see, there's one here. So there is a queue as well. So you can have three queues. So let's say I'm in the queue when his timer comes out, uh, his, when, you know, when the timer is done, I get to be the next one right away. So there's also going to be 10 applicants as well. So you can have three queues and 10 applicants. So you can keep this going, all right? It's actually relatively easy to get this done. Now, the Princep has to be active because the Princep needs to be able to rotate and accept for players who are applying. So it's really important that whoever is going to be the Princep, they must be active. It's a full-time job. So you need to understand that you are getting all these buffs. Yeah, it looks cool that you are the leader of the Nebula, but you have to understand you got to put the work because if not people are going to get frustrated why nobody is getting the title and as well as if you do have the title you can go into your spaceport and you can take a look into your uh, basically overview of your spaceport so my spaceport is actually right here right and this is uh, Jaden is you can see we have a little title on the top of our uh, spaceport right here and I have mine in here as well which is really, really cool. And I will also have my title indicated here, Finance Minister, and I can click check and I can either remove. And um, so if I wanna give up this position, um, I'm going to go and remove. There's a lot of applicants actually. So I'm gonna go and remove this. This is gonna be funny because, oh, um, let me show you an example in here, which is really perfect, honestly. Um, let's go here and I will show you right now. Here, if you're is also applying for finance minister, let's see what happens when I give it up. All right, I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna remove myself. All right. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't be removed. Oh wow. I have a cooldown. So you need to wait for your cooldown as well. I didn't know that actually. Oh, I thought there it is. I've been appointed. There we go. And it worked. So he is now, he took over that because he's already done here. And I've applied here. I've already applied for this position. So I just need to be accepted into this position. See, as soon as I gave it up, he was next in line. He got it. Um, so I just need to apply. And then the princep needs to approve this for us. So which is really, really good. That was a good example to show it to you guys in here in, in YouTube. So if you guys have any other further questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. But besides that, it's relatively easy. Once you see it, it's really, really good. Um, it's nice that, you know, you can apply. I think that's a good mechanism or good um, what was it called? mechanics that the game did, right? So it's really amazing. It makes a lot of things easier for the Princept and you don't have to be like active 24 seven to give out titles. So just apply and you know there's a queue you can log in every 12 hours to accept everybody into the queue so if there's going to be a lot of lists it'll be it'll be fine um besides that guys thank you for watching hopefully you like this video smash that thumbs up and i'll see you again next time